questions, um, I'll turn it over to Shanjot, who will talk about uh, Diff Presentation Exchange and sort of go talk about what's in Akapai for it, uh, kind of how it works, and and just background material so that anyone can ask questions and, and get a feel for um, what's going on with it. Uh, sounds good, Stephen. So let me share my screen. Uh, can you see my screen? Yep, looks good. Okay. Uh, actually, um, okay. you can make it larger. Um, the text is very small. How about now? Yeah, that's better. Yep, good. Okay. Uh, so I'll be talking about uh, Diff Presentation Exchange uh, integration into Akapai. Uh, so as uh, Stephen mentioned, it will be uh, uh, supported and released in 0 0.70. And RFC 0510 is the relevant uh, ARIES RFC that, uh, uh, that, that was implemented that relates to Diff Presentation Exchange. Uh, so I'll be going over a quick overview of the uh, specification itself, uh, the workflow, how it looks in Akapai and what is supported and what's uh, not being supported and being currently worked upon. Uh, so for the uh, presentation exchange, uh, uh, from the verifier side, uh, when they are making a presentation request, it needs to, uh, all the requirements are specified within the presentation definition. So this is an example of the presentation definition. It has, it can include multiple input descriptors and each descriptor defines which, how uh, and which cred credentials uh, should be uh, applicable to a proof. And that is being uh, specified within the schema as well as the constraint. Uh, so the schema uh, URI uh, can contain uh, uh, URI such as uh, like uh, account JSON that has information about the schema itself, or it can also include a uh, JSON LD expanded type uh, URL uh, like this example. So in this example, it has the expanded JSON LD uh, expanded type uh, information. Uh, so this is uh, the base, uh, uh, the base expanded type that will be applicable to all uh, JSON LD credentials. And this one is more so specific to the uh, permanent resident uh, card type of credentials. And uh, within the constraint, uh, I'll go over these in more detail, but uh, in this particular constraint, the limit disclosure is required. So this is a case where selective uh, the the, uh, the credential included in the proof will be a selective disclosure. So only uh, uh, the credential inside the credential subject, only given name should be uh, disclosed and all other attributes should be hidden. And uh, there is also another uh, property called a format within the presentation definition. Uh, so this is used by the verifier to notify holder what uh, formats uh, are supported. So in this particular type, uh, uh, only BBS uh, BLS signature is supported. So only uh, credentials of this particular proof type will be uh, applied to the uh, to the presentation definition and return because we don't want uh, other credentials that are uh, signed with a different uh, 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 signature su suite uh, and that will not be uh, so the holder uh, verifier won't be able to verify that particular uh, credential. Uh, so this is uh, to limit the fetching of credentials by the proof type. Now I'll be I'll be going over the uh, Akapai workflow. So this is the example of the holder's credential uh, that uh, that I am uh, constructing the presentation request to get some data uh, the proof uh, uh, about. So this particular credential is uh, a permanent resident card type. Uh, so these are the two expanded uh, uh, type information. Uh, included and uh, and inside the credential uh, subject uh, we have uh, given name uh, and family name so uh, my uh, goal here is to construct a, a presentation request that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that applies to a credential that has a given name john and I, I also want to get the family name i don't know what the family name is but i want to have that in the proof so the example of that particular proof request would be right here. So we'll be using the uh, uh, present proof v2 send request uh, endpoint for this particular uh, uh, task. 
and in here the presentation definition uh, has a limit disclosure required. So this is a case of selective disclosure as we we only want the given name and the family name. And we specify the expanded uh, uh, JSON uh, uh, expanded JSON early type information as expected here. So if this is not included, uh, it's gonna uh, on the on the holder side, it's gonna fetch all the credentials. Uh, if the holder itself doesn't override anything and that can limit performance, but this is this is an optional optional uh, property, uh, but uh, it sh it uh, it it does have a uh, uh, impact on the performance. Uh, Shanshan, just to be clear, that's not a predicate in the in the indie sense. So it's not an equality where you're proving without exposing the information. These are filters to say um, to the holder. Um, this is what I expect that you will only give me one that meets these conditions. Um, but it's but you have to expose the data to be able to see that. Correct. That is correct. So uh, it's it's matching uh, with this path. It's matching uh, in this particular example that the given name is either John or Kai. So that's what is doing. So it's uh, it and and in the returned. Uh, proof it's only have information about this uh, given name. Yeah. And then uh, we on the holder side, we go into uh, the uh, uh, so th there are a few uh, uh, features that that is Akapai specific uh, that uh, we can limit which uh, credentials W3C credentials are applied to which input descriptor uh, uh, when processing the presentation request. Uh, so this is a, a feature that is there in uh, Indie proof request. So a similar feature is also available here. Uh, so how we do that is basically we can use this endpoint uh, present proof V2 uh, credentials endpoint to uh, to get information about credentials that apply to that uh, presentation request. So this if this presentation request is uh, is uh, processed as is it as it is? So this will be the credential that is applied to that. So uh, holder has that information. He can also query other uh, credentials uh, and get their record ID. Uh, is the property that is needed to uh, do this filtering uh, from the uh, W3C credential endpoint. So to get all the uh, all the credentials and note the uh, the record IDs from there. And the filtering, how it is done, is basically uh, when we are sending the presentation. Uh, we, we can have a property in, uh, called uh, record IDs in there, and in there we can specify which in, input descriptor ID, uh, uh, like a mapping uh, of list of record IDs. So record ID is the uh, the storage ID which will be unique for each W3C credential, and which of these should be applied to a particular input descriptor ID. So in in the example of the uh, request, so. Uh, this is the input descriptor, and this is the ID PR input. So, uh, so we want uh, only a, part a, a particular credential to be applied to this. So, we basically take this uh, ID in here and just uh, plug uh, that particular credential ID uh, into the list and uh, and uh, make it apply to this uh, uh, input descriptor only. And once the presentation is sent. Uh, and if if you want if the holder wants to process the presentation request as it is, he could just like uh, specify that that this is the diff presentation and leave everything else empty. So this is the example of the request body in that case. And uh, then the verify gets the presentation back. And this is the so this is a subset uh, that only shows the uh, presentation that is received by the uh, by the verifier. So in here, uh, as you can see. It only has a family name because we included that in the in the path. We wanted information about this and the given name. So it this is a derived credential, and it only includes uh, an example of uh, selective uh, disclosures. So only has information about those particular attributes, and uh, some of these are mandatory att attributes uh, such as issuance date and issuer. So they will be there anyway. And uh, there is also a mechanism implemented uh, to uh, verify on the uh, 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 on the verifier side that the received presentation matches the presentation request. So uh, we are uh, applying the filter again. And in case of uh, selective disclosure cases, 
we are looking up uh, the uh, attributes in the credential and seeing that the, no extra information is there. So only the information that uh, was specified in the path. So family name and given name and the mandatory attributes such as issuance date, issuer and proof are there and no other uh, extra attributes are there. And here's the presentation submission. So the, when evaluating uh, the presentation on the verifier side, this is uh, this is being used. So in here it has the JSON path. So the the only credential included in verifiable credential uh, applies to PR input uh, one uh, input descriptor ID. So this information is used then to uh, evaluate and verify uh, that uh, the pres received presentation is correct. Um uh, Shanjar, we're seeing the constraints section. Are, are you still talking about the constraints section? I thought I heard submission, presentation submission. I'm wondering if it's moving. Okay. I, I, is it moving on your side right now? No, or? no, it's just staying at okay. presentation definition. Uh, let me share again. Sorry. Okay. I was actually moving all this time, so. Yeah, I thought it was moving for a while and then it's, and, and you were talking about this for a bit, but suddenly realized, wait, you're talking about something else. Like the cursor's moving, but not the background. That's pretty Yeah, weird. yeah, it's it, weird. Is it moving now? Um, it didn't look like you unshared and shared. To me. Is it, okay, there we go. Okay, looks better yeah. now. Yeah, um, I can see it scrolling now. Yeah. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so I'll just quickly go over. So the uh, so uh, as I was talking, uh, the holder credential. Uh, this was the example that uh, yeah. I, I was uh, going through. So. Uh, as I uh, mentioned, the credential subject here has a lot more attributes. It has given name, uh, family name, gender, and so on. Uh, and when we are when the verifier is sending the presentation request, he just uh, he, uh, just uh, is a case of selective disclosure. So he has limit disclosure uh, set as required. And uh, and uh, and in the in the constraint, uh, he just wants the given name uh, to be either. Uh, John or Kai, and he also wants uh, the information about the family name to be included inside the credential as well. So what we are expecting uh, from the uh, uh, from the credential included in the proof is uh, just uh, having given name and family name in the credential subject. And uh, th there are uh, ways to uh, to limit uh, a, a credential and to filter uh, which credentials are applied uh, to uh, to an input descriptor uh, ID. Uh, so for that, uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, the holder can call the present proof V2 uh, credentials endpoint, and that will uh, give them uh, the credential uh, that will be applied to the presentation request that the verifier had submitted as it is. Uh, so uh, and uh, and it, he and that information has the record ID in there, uh, but it, it might be the case that. Uh, the uh, the holder wants uh, additional credentials to be applied. So for looking up the record ID for those credentials, uh, they can call the credential uh, uh, credentials uh, V3 uh, W3C endpoint to get the record IDs for uh, those credentials. And then for applying this filtering, uh, when they are sending the presentation uh, in the request in the request body, uh, they always have to uh, specify diff uh, in there because. Uh, the present proof v2 support both uh, indie and div uh, so to uh, to make it uh, uh, to let the agent know that this is the format that should be processed for so we need to have this uh, and for the filtering to be done we have a record ids uh, uh, property in there and uh, that has uh, that that is a dictionary and uh, with uh, the input descriptor id as the key so in, in the example uh, the pr input 1 was the uh, ID, and then uh, we can have list of uh, different uh, W3C credentials that we want to apply or uh, up, uh, filter down to uh, that, uh, so that only those credentials are being applied for this uh, that particular ID. Uh, 
but in case a holder uh, just wants to process the presentation require as it is, this is the example of the request body. He just need to specify uh, that diff is the uh, is the particular format to process for. Uh, after this case, uh, the present uh, the presentation is then received by the verifier. So this is a subset uh, of that particular presentation exchange record, just showing the presentation itself. Uh, so in here. Uh, you can see that the credential subject just has uh, a family name and given name uh, uh, disclosed. Uh, so all uh, all these properties, ID, type, inside credential subject are mandatory mandatory uh, properties. So they have to be included. And so is the case with uh, ID, uh, issuance date, and issuer and proof in, uh, 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 inside the verifiable credential. So these are uh, mandatory properties which will be disclosed uh, uh, anyway. And uh, on the verify on the uh, verifier side, we are uh, uh, evaluating uh, the presentation submission. Uh, so we will be evaluating the received credential against uh, the uh, the filter uh, that we had set in uh, in presentation request uh, to make sure that uh, uh, it is valid. And also because in this case we had a limit disclosure uh, uh, as required. So we'll also uh, make sure that uh, no extra attributes uh, were revealed. So only uh, the attributes uh, uh, such as uh, uh, that were specified in the uh, filter, such as uh, family name and given name, along with the mandatory attrib attributes are, uh, are revealed and no other extra attributes are revealed. And uh, then what is all uh, what all is currently supported? Uh, so for submission requirements, uh, both uh, from and from nested are support uh, supported. So from nested is a is an uh, is a has a use case as uh, either or. So we can uh, in this example uh, uh, here as well. So we have uh, from nested. So it'll either uh, pick all uh, credentials from group A or pick one from B. So whichever. Uh, so in uh, if both are true, then it's gonna pick A. But if only B uh, is valid, so it's gonna uh, pick one of uh, these two, whichever comes up uh, true as first. And uh, also, uh, and in case multiple requirements uh, uh, are listed in uh, submission requirements, so it that means all of these requirements must be uh, must be met individually. So uh, in this case, instead of uh, from nested, I had from, but I had multiple. Uh, uh, multiple requirements uh, listed in this uh, included in this list, then all of them must be met. And then there is uh, the rules uh, uh, rule all will ensure that all requirements or all inputs are satisfied uh, within that particular uh, requirement uh, that it is specified in. So this is supported and also uh, the pick rule with uh, count uh, minimum and maximum properties uh, are also supported. Uh, hey, yes. Um, if something like the pick rule is there, um, it, is there a way that the controller gets to define the rules for which one actually gets sent? Uh, so I didn't understand the question. So with uh, with rule pick, uh, so uh it, it'll uh, make it, uh, so with pick it, it's gonna use the count minimum and maximum properties uh, so if we have count equal to one it'll it'll uh, make sure that that particular uh, requirement only returned one credential right but um suppose you know it's saying um give me a proof that you have an employment record and you've got three of them in uh, three of them in your um, in your wallet. How, how is it? It should be turned over to the controller to determine which one actually gets sent. Is that implemented yet, or is that is it just picking one of them, and and it's sort of randomly or or has some sort of set way of picking one of the three. So uh, it has to be defined within the submission requirement itself, like uh, when the uh, when the request is being sent. Uh, but in case multiple uh, multiple are applicable and there is uh, and it's a 
uh, from nested uh, rule applied. So either or it's going to pick the first one that is applicable. Okay. So, so there's no um, turning it over to the, to the controller to decide which one it's just uh, going to pick one. It's going to, it's going to pick one from within the credentials. The 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 yep. filter the filtering uh, that can be applied is within the credential itself. So if if you don't want a particular uh, credential to be to be applied to that particular uh, input descriptor, you can limit that with the filtering uh, mechanism that I showed you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to understand how the controller gets to gets to play a role in this. Um, Let's not worry about it for now, and we can talk further about it. This is something that came up in it when we started to work with Indy. That um, well, I, I think it was the first thing we did. We had, and I'm not sure if it was Akapai or or another one. If you had multiple that that satisfied the criteria, it would just error off, which wasn't particularly good. Um, and then we then we changed it so that it by default picked the latest one that met the criteria, but it would also ask the controller, hey, you got multiple, there's multiple possible credentials you could use for this proof. Which one do you want to use? So, but, you know, as a first cut, I don't want to worry about that right now. Okay, uh, I understand that something like that can be implemented uh, pretty easily, but right now it's not there. Yeah, okay. Uh, then I'll move move into the filter. So each constraint has filter in there. So these are the operate operators that are uh, supported. Uh, so uh, pretty much like uh, minimum numeric operators as well as uh, set operators for uh, uh, for also string uh, uh, string uh, operations and also const is a equal to operations uh, operator. Uh, then uh, I've already explained limit disclosure that is for uh, selective disclosure uh, use cases. And only BBS uh, BLS signature uh, credentials are uh, derivable. So, uh, so uh, if uh, limit disclosure is set as required, so only uh, when we are fetching the credential, only credentials with BBS BLS signature suite are being uh, pulled and being applied. Uh, so currently, only uh, uh, ED uh, two five five and BBS uh, BLS uh, proof format on uh, presentations are supported. Uh, and as, uh, as already mentioned, so uh, on the uh, on the receive when uh, the presentation is received, uh, we are evaluating and verifying that it ma it matches uh, the constraint. And it's in case of limit disclosure, it's not revealing any extra uh, attributes. In terms of what is currently not supported, so statuses property within constraint uh, is not supported. So it uh, this is used to uh, limit. Uh, if the credential uh, by uh, credential status, uh, so like uh, if the credential is revoked, uh, is active or is, has uh, uh, expired, so th these these uh, three statuses, uh, so we can apply this further filtering on the credential itself. Uh, but as this was not being supported in uh, in the JSON LD uh, uh, issue credential v2, uh, so I didn't uh, go through and implement this. Uh, is holder property within constraint is uh, something that is uh, that has to be supported and will be worked upon as a priority case. Uh, so what is happening right now is currently uh, 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 signing all presentations uh, with the cred credential subject dot ID. Uh, but this can cause a problem if uh, it if the uh, 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 if the credentials that are being applied to a presentation request are both uh, uh, BBS uh, uh, as well as uh, ED, ED255, and they have different uh, uh, dates specified as the credential subject ID. In that case, it becomes a problem. Uh, so, uh, uh, so this has to be worked upon. And probably uh, what I'm going to do is uh, how it is currently implemented is only going to be triggered when is holder property is there. Otherwise, uh, if the is holder property is missing, we're not going to sign the presentation. So I think that's uh, a way to fix this. Uh, predicate property within fields are currently not supported. And uh, this is not supported within EFCO as well. And uh, this is, uh, I think, the decision uh, made in the community uh, early on. So uh, this 
didn't go through and also processing of uh, multi claim envelope uh, format uh, is not supported. Uh, so uh, th there is there will be no path nested inside the presentation submission uh, descriptor map. Uh, uh, so this means like uh, uh, there are uh, uh, there are layers layers to decoding. Uh, so, uh, uh, like, um, uh, uh, in, in G and it's it's not currently supported uh, as well in uh, in the JSON LD uh, implementation uh, with Akapai. So uh, this is not supported, and also uh, JSON web signature uh, proof format on presentation is not supported. And uh, that's pretty much the status uh, of this right now. So I would say. Uh, it, the the uh, the is holder is uh, is a thing that needs to be uh, worked upon and also uh, the, the requirements Stephen that you mentioned with uh, uh, with that particular use case uh, 